All right, man. Let's talk about Shakir Stevenson. Is he the most avoided man in boxing? Uh, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'm also going to get to the Edwin D. Los Santos uh, video. I think he may be next up in the rankings. Um, so uh, I think D. Los Santos pulled up to Shakir Stevenson uh, hood talking stuff. And maybe, you know, Edwin D. Los Santos told Al Heyman that he wanted to fight and he felt like, like he could beat him. Um which in my opinion might be a better fight to be honest, dude. But uh, you know, but yeah, you know, Shakir Stevenson, you know, he's going around saying, you know, I'm avoided, I'm ducked. And you don't want that moniker at all, especially as a black fighter. You don't want that moniker. They usually don't end well for uh they usually don't don't end well for uh for the boogeyman. They usually, you know, you know, even though like Aaron Pryor he end up getting his uh he end up getting this just do um with Alexis O'Grail, but he never got that that super duper fight with Sugar Ray Robinson. Um you know, Lucas Matias that you know he got the fight with Danny. It should have been for Undisputed, came up a little short because he didn't know if Danny was gonna commit to him. Um so he fought Lamont in the catch weight and allowed Lamont to keep the final belt for an undisputed, which once again, Al Heyman is trash. He should have facilitated that and told Matias, well, I'm gonna deliver um Danny to you. And Danny could have been undisputed. So it really don't really end well for the boogeyman. He said the many is sick, they make up rumors to protect certain fighters' image. Well, y'all even talking about that man ain't pull out fight, uh ain't pull out to fight nobody else. And, you know, at the end of the day, man, you hear, you know, people saying it was champ side. You know, I don't know. I don't listen to the dude. You know, the champ side was pushing some bull job and saying stuff. You know, you know um, it's a few other dudes, you know, pushing. I already know because I've been seeing them around the Internet, you know, posting and justifying, you know, Frank Martin because they feel like PBC is a gang. Gang, gang. They feel like it's a gang or whatever. And they, they can't do no wrong because they grant them some press credentials or, their favorite fighters affiliated over there. So it don't really surprise me, bro. Of course, they're going to say, well, they're going to make Frank Martin look good. Oh, he's going well, to promise a tank fighter. He's promised something bigger down the line. But Al Hammond have done that in the past. You know, Dennis Ugas was negotiating with Bud. And they told, and Al told Ugas, I like, don't, allegedly don't, don't take it. I'm going to get you a title down the road. He got him a title down the road. So, I mean, it is what it is. But, um, PBC's tired, tired of getting like beat up by people as you, when they cross the street or somebody coming across the street. But Frank Martin looked bad. Um, but Shakir Stevenson, you know, unfortunately for him, bro, it's like uh, you know, you hard, you know, you hard either you or you know, usually the boogeyman is somebody that's hard to hit, um, that hit hard, or you know, who can stick in who hit and hit and not get hit. And Shakira Stevenson just got a style in which people are going to back out and say, well, it's boring. Or he got a style. People are going to say, well, you know, I don't want to fight him. He boring. He don't engage. He don't fight. He trash. You know, he I, don't, I need somebody engaging. So what Shakira Stevenson got to do is continue to uh, keep winning, look impressive, keep building, stay active, don't get stagnant. Um, but the moniker, the boogeyman, is something that you don't want bestowed upon you. You don't want that attached to your name. The boogeyman don't get the fights. The boogeyman don't get the money. The boogeyman get froze out. You know, and PBC got a habit of doing that. They did it to Bud. You know, they froze Bud out for a while. Um, you know, they fro froze Bud out for a while. And it's unfortunate. You know, everybody had that moniker, and the moniker never made a whole bunch of money like everybody else. Maybe Marvin Hagler was the only one. He finally broke through. But the reason why, she, you know, he broke through before Sugar Ray Leonard gave him the opportunity. As soon as Sugar Ray Leonard kind of started seeing him grow commercially, do right guard commercials, and, you know, and then he had that tough fight with John the Beast Mugabe. Then, you know, Sugar Ray Leonard, you know, uh, you know, um, you know, Pulled up and wanted to fight Hagler after that.
you know. You know, so. But, but yeah, the history of the boogeyman, that's something that you don't, you really don't want. And I keep telling y'all that. It's something that you really don't want. You know, and he just got to keep winning. At one point, you know, Floyd was avoided. And that's why when he got the baton, he got to make the choices. He, 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 he did it the way he wanted to do it. And you had to respect it because they was freezing Floyd out. They was freezing Floyd out. No, but yeah, if the boogeyman use if they lucky, they usually get one uh they usually get one big fight if they lucky. And that's it. They don't get the rash of big fights. You know, they don't get the pick of the litter, but they when they but when they break through, then they break through. But you know, it's a little bit harder with all the politics and different belts, and then you know, you know, big about Terrence Crawford, he finally broke through in some people's opinion versus Errol Spence. He had the twilight of his career when that fight could have happened several years ago. Errol could have rebuilt himself up, they could be headed for a rematch or a trilogy or something like that. You know, but uh But nonetheless, I just feel that uh, I just feel that uh, that's just something that he don't want to do. And people get mad, and be like, "Well, I just spoke to people, and oh man, he talked too much, and you know, he too, he too cocky and stuff." And you know, what's so funny about that when somebody that look don't look like him, skin color wise, do it. Everybody eat it up. Was it Conor McGregor, Ronda Rousey, you know, Tyson Fury? They eat that up. You know, and, and I'm talking about black people and specifically look at, you know, look at black people that do it and it's a turn off. But I just explained to somebody like a closed mouth don't get fed. That's real talk. A closed mouth don't get fed. So how I'm supposed to apply pressure on guys to get in the ring with me if I don't art verbally articulate it? I ain't like what he did to Devin Haney. Not, not because it was Devin Haney. Because he didn't keep the same energy for Lomachenko. And still hasn't. Lomachenko pulled out from him, pulled out versus him, and he still ain't said shit about it. He still ain't called Lomachenko pops a whole ass nigga. Excuse my language. He still ain't. So that's what that's what I don't like. In my Chief Keith look uh, little Reese voice. That's what I don't like. That's what I don't like. We got as, as black people, we got a lot of malice. We got a lot of malice towards each other, but we don't keep it for the other. Real talk. We got a lot of malice for the other, you know, a lot of it. For for our brothers, but not for the other, excuse me. So that's what that's just what I didn't like from him. That's what I ain't like. Like like keep that keep that same energy for keep that same energy for 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 Lomachenko that you have for Devin Haney. Come on. Keep that same energy, but this ain't the spot you want to be in. So when you're in this spot, either you got to keep your mouth open, pause. You got to run your mouth. You got to apply pressure on guys. You got to be able to back it up. Right? And, you know, and, that, and then you got to start taking risks. This is when guys got to start taking risks. It's taking, you know, short money. Uh, you know. You got to start taking short money. Um, you got to start moving up, moving down, trying to find the best fights. And that's where a lot of these guys get in trouble at.
It's where a lot of guys get in trouble at. That's where a lot of these guys get in trouble at, bro. Because you, you start doing things that's uncharacteristic or that's off script. But you got to take chances, man. You got to take you got to take these chances because you don't take no chances. And then you run in the place. Yeah, you getting bills, but you ain't getting recognition. You ain't getting traction. So my advice to Shakira Stevenson, um, my advice to Shakira Stevenson will be in his management is to become commercially syndicated. That's the answer. I need to build my brand outside of boxing. Yeah, I need to build my brand outside of boxing. And, you know, what that ent- what that actually means is, um, you know, what that actually means is, uh, you know, get out there, get into rap videos, get into TV shows, uh, create your YouTube channel and, and show people, you know, show people a different side of you. Try to. You know, um, you know, he started doing podcasts, but try to get into acting, seem like a good personality. Um, you know, do what you gotta do to 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 make yourself uh 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 you know commercially attractive. Go out there trying to get brand deals, get out there, get some commercials, you know, get out there and, and do you know TV shows and stuff of that nature. So um or whatever it takes, get out there and try to align with new balance or or bring new balance into boxing, Nike, bring them back. You know what I'm saying? Try to get in there some commercials or whatever. So, um, but I, yeah, but hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Secure Steven. <laughs> Shout out to Secure. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video uh, financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. Hit the link in the description. Hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Um, but other than that, peace.